Serena Williams had no issues with her ankle and no issues with Chang Wang demolishing the Chinese no. 1-6-1, 6-0, 2-0, 3-0. Six to zero to reach her 13th U.S. Open semi-final and earn her 100th career U.S. Open win. The 42-minute blowout Tuesday night was the quickest of the tournament, and Serena won 50 of the 65 points played against Wang, who was making her Grand Slam quarterfinal debut. It feels good, Serena said. It feels like, okay, this is what I've been training for. This is how hard I've been working. It feels like, you know, hard work pays off when that happens. I've been working on my speed, getting shots. I didn't give her too many chances in the match. Wang upset no. 2. Ashley Barty on Sunday and given her top 20 status, was thought to be a contender in her Ash debut, the biggest court in the world, Wang said. It's a little bit tight for me. Against Serena, she do lot of pressure to me. So it's not easy to play against her. Serena will take on Elena Svitolina Thursday night. Earlier in the day, the Ukraine dismissed Joanna Okanda 6-4, 6-4 to reach her first U.S. Open semi-final. Not every day you're playing quarter-final of the Grand Slam, the 24-year-old Svitolina said, and to win that, it's something special just very happy the way I handled the pressure. After not making a Grand Slam semi-final in her first 25 or so attempts, she's now made two straight. I don't think that I was expecting going into this tournament that I'm going to make semis, Svitolina said. I'm just taking one match at a time, not rushing so much of the results or what should have or could have happened. It's a Grand Slam. There is lots of pressure, lots of expectations from people, from media probably. But you also put lots of pressure on yourself. You have to just go out there, do your job and don't think too much what's going on around you, and who handle it the best wins. Kanda was trying to reach the semi-finals at all four slams, she remains winless against the world no. 5 I have played her 3 times or 4, I think. Haven't beat her yet, Kanda said. I do feel that was the probably the best I felt her play against me, she played so well, to be honest. Actually, I didn't play badly at all. I actually felt like I was doing a lot of good things out there, a lot of the right things. She just made me play that extra ball. I mean, it's frustrating. You know, I would have loved to have come through that and come through a challenge like her, but I guess it will just have to be next time. Serena has won 4 of 5 against Vitolina, losing their last meeting at the 2016 Rio Olympics. She is obviously a fighter, Serena said. She gets a lot of balls back. She doesn't make a lot of mistakes. She's one of those players that does everything really well, so I have to do everything well, too. Tomorrow, four new faces to this stage in New York take the court. Belinda Bencic meets Donna Vekic and then at night Bianca Andrescu battles Elise Mertens. All four are bidding for a first U.S. Open semi-final. Only Mertens has been passed a slam quarter final before. You might like. Wang outlasts Kenyon for maiden WTA title in Acapulco Osaka ousted by Benchich at US Open, Serena closing in on 24 WTA Rome preview, Serena returns with 9 of top 10, could face Venus and Tour Serena, Barty back into US Open R16, Osaka v Coco Sat, Knight Alinas Vitolina, my goals are to win a Grand Slam and reach no. One read more stories about, U.S. Open tags, Elena Svitolina, Joanna Conta, Chang Wang, Serena Williams don't miss any tennis action, stay connected with Tennis X follow at Tennis get the free TX Daily Newsletter Andrew Miller says, Svito is playing well, might catch Serena. September 3, 2019 at 11.49 p.m. Andrew Miller says, only Nadal remains of Big 3.
no other big three or Stan made it to the semis. It's Medvedev, Dimitrov, and then Nadal vs. Schwartzman and Monfils vs. Sparatini, September 3, 2019 at 11.57 p.m. Top Story, Dimitrov downs Ailing Federer in 5-set U.S. Open Shocker, Nadal lone big three left lets block hats. Why?